How's it going, everybody? Andy McCall from the Kansas City Star here at Camden Yards, where the Royals were crushed 8-2 by the Baltimore Orioles. Um, Johnny Cueto, might be about time to sound that panic alarm, man. I mean, this was a rough one. Uh, his fifth terrible outing in a row. He gave up eight runs. Uh, one was unearned, so that's good, you know, for the ERA and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's now five in a row, as we said. He's given up 30 runs and 26 in the third innings. Uh, he's got a 9-5-7 ERA, I think, across the five-start stretch. And, you know, three is a trend, four is a concern. This is kind of just downright alarming. I mean, he's not getting better. He's not uh, trusting his fastball. You know, that Ned Yost was, um, I wouldn't say upset, but uh, pinpointed that as sort of the big problem for Cueto tonight, you know, that he wasn't trusting his fastball, that he was going to his secondary stuff, and his secondary stuff was what got hit. You know, he gave up four home runs, um, two were on cutters to Jonathan Scope, who crushed a cutter for a home run the last time he faced Johnny Cueto. Uh, another home run was on a, a changeup to Chris Davis, who was allowed to extend his hands across the zone, which is exactly what he's looking to do, um, you know, in the at-bat is sort of get stuff out and away and drive it. Um, and then there was another one given up on a fastball to Adam Jones, who from time to time will hit a home run on a fastball. And so, you know, for the Royals, you start to come into, okay, what what are the options here? Um, skipping Cueto uh, doesn't seem to be particularly helpful because you need to know where he's at. You know, you need to know what he's capable of doing. You need to know how ready he is to contribute in October because he's still, you know, as of right now, tentatively scheduled to pitch game one of the ALDS for the Royals, and they want to know what that pitcher is going to look like. Um, so skipping him doesn't seem to be particularly of benefit because he insists he's healthy, and he's told friends he's healthy, he's told the Royals he's healthy, they've done stress tests, they've done strength tests, they've done all sorts of things. They haven't done an MRI, but they've done all sorts of other things to, um, you know, check on the, the health of his shoulder and his elbow, and there's, you know, as the, the team currently voices it, there is no symptoms, there's no real um, reason to put him in an MRI tube and see what the deal is there. So Cueto says he's healthy. Cueto wants the ball. Um, you know, he's got a lot of motivation both to, to uh, pitch well for this team to lead, help lead them to back to, you know, the World Series, but also to build his own case as a free agent. So, you know, he wants to be on the mound. But they got to kind of figure out what to do with him, and that's it's been a it's been a serious concern, you know, for for weeks now. Um, so you can read all about this in the page of the Kansas City Star, uh, KansasCity.com, and on our True Blue app. Um, I don't know, it's not really um, happy reading, but then again, you know, a lot of things in life are depressing. So you should read about baseball. Have a good night.